Hi, I will show you how to use the Advocates Diary mobile application as well as website version of this app. This is very simple application and more than 1000 advocates are using this application at this point of time. This application can be usable from many different devices like iPhone, Android devices or any other devices but we have launched our application for Android device as of now we are in the plan to provide it on the iPhone also as well as Blackberry but right now more than one Android devices can also be used for one client or for one advocate and uh, you can also use the website version of this app so whatever you will enter from the mobile version it can be shown it can be seen on the website version and vice versa whatever you will enter on website it will be downloaded to your mobile device automatically so you don't need to do anything or everything is automatic so uh, this is very simple to use application we have kept many people many advocates in mind and we have given a careful thought because of the portability of a mobile it's very small device compared to the laptop or desktop so uh, uh, you can easily understand and uh, that whatever decisions are taken for the different components on this mobile application are actually taken for the uh, because of the uh, mobile device different features like keyboard uh, and input devices and the display screen size and all the all the other things so uh, for easiness of advocates we have launched the website version it will be easy because the screen display is big and the keyboard is big from you can use your laptop or your computer or desktop so that it will be easy for you to enter the case related matters now i will show you how to proceed and how to use this app on the mobile version so you can see this is the index page any advocate have to do certain things like he he need to have the codes he, he need to uh, have the clients and then he need to configure the cases like I will show you uh, these are very important things like if you click on the manage codes button it will display you uh, the button to add the code you can add any new code like I am adding here new code new address add new code added successfully now you can see what I have added this code and I can see here new code if I want to edit it, I can easily edit it by clicking on that edit button, edit code, edit it here. Now I will update it and you can see whatever I have did here is edited. So I have added the code and I have edited the code. Now same way I can do with the clients. I can add the client as can I as many client as I want. Uh, the only thing is uh, I request you guys to enter the complete information if possible because whatever email id you will enter all the case related hearings will be sent to that email id and uh, we, we do not do anything with the contact number so i i would not uh, request like to enter that if you want you can enter for your own uh, reminder or uh, for your own reference so address you can enter whatever you will enter here you it will be displayed on the uh, hearing email or schedule detail page so you can here enter whatever you want uh, only client name is mandatory and all the other uh, fields are optional so i will click on add and it's done you can see i have added the client uh, name i can edit also i have edited this code client so uh, this way now i can manage the cases I can while if I click on add the case I will enter whatever case number is there one two three four five six this is a court drop down I can see three codes I have added so I have to select any one among them so I will click on this one same way client there are three clients I will select any one client whatever I want whatever I want whatever client and code I want to configure uh, remarks this is for my own reference so it is not mandatory 
I can enter or I cannot enter. That's my wish. So uh, reference, please. <coughs> okay. So now you can see I have entered the case information and I can see here. I can. There are three buttons here. First is case detail, and second is. Second is editing. In case I, for example, I have misplaced the case number, I can update it. I can update the reference number. I can change the code. I can make change uh, in the case status like running to decided. If the case is completed, I can make it decided. And see here, it's very simple. Everything is updated, and it will be updated on the web server also. this button will allow you to configure the hearing related information like you can select any case here and then you can enter like further proceeding whatever you want to enter you can select the date here and then you can enter the remarks if you want this is optional you can enter or Uh, you can leave it or ignore it not a problem and you can click on the submit it's okay now you have added codes you have added client you have added cases <coughs> you can see here everything is there and you have also scheduled the case so as soon as you schedule you can see the schedule what is the uh, what is your next uh, schedule the future schedule so right now i have scheduled only one case so i can see only one case here everything is displayed like case information court information client information next fix for remarks and next date so again you can edit the schedule related information using this button if you want to send the message to a client sms message you can directly send from this button right now i have not added the mobile number otherwise it would have been directly sent to that mobile number uh, so this is how we can use the mobile application so i will show you how to what are the credentials for the website access you can see on the top the first button says website access you click on that and you can see uh, we have given you three things one is url honeycomputing.com and then click on the login button on the right hand top side then username will be uh, whatever email address you have entered and then password so what email address you have entered you can see from this button update personal information and it will show you this email address so your name whatever you entered here will be displayed on the top so and whatever email address you entered will be displayed here and it will be used throughout the application you can update also any time you can see here my name is updated here my name means i have given a test name it's not my name but it is updated so you can enter as many times as you want any time if you are confused with the icons you can click on that manage icons page and you can go through and memorize these buttons so that throughout the application you can use it and then uh, i think these are the uh, these are the only things which you, you need to take care of and i will show you how to use the website now you can see here i have opened the web browser and it's uh, clearly visible uh, the login button is here you can see i have entered the email address which i entered in the mobile device from my web application mobile application i have entered the password clicked on the login it's very simple procedure now you can see it will on the first run it will ask you to reset your password it is for your security so you can reset it or you can leave it as it um, now you can see uh, now i am in the my dashboard my diary dashboard you can see i have added three clients i have added three codes i have added four cases i have added one hearing in here so dashboard is here dashboard means the summary of all my works all my entries which i have done so um now suppose i want to add any new client from here i will click on my client here and add new client button is there 
this is one thing if i want to update the client information anything i can click on the edit and i can update it you can see here now i will update the i have updated the client entry so if i want to add any new client i will click on add new client new client from browser okay now i am saving it it is saved you can see here new client from browser last whatever this is a test this is a test thing uh, so i am entering this kind of entry uh, same way i can click on the my codes and i can add the code from here or i can edit any code from here same way my cases i can add the case or i can edit the existing cases if i want to add the hearing i will go here on add case hearing and i will click select the case i will uh, enter what what is the reason for net fixing i will select the date and remark for reference i will click on the save <clears throat> so whatever you will be entering here will be displayed on the mobile device so it's very very uh, straight forward and very simple to uh, use the website version also uh, you can make use of this fantastic search functionality you can select the start date you can end date and you can search whatever um, whatever record you want to search you can uh, search from this place Uh, if you want to see the schedule you can click on the my schedule and it will show you your next schedule so you have i have right now two records one is on 5th april 2013 and another is 12th april 2013 so these two <coughs> two schedules are my next schedules whatever i will enter this will be displayed here and most importantly uh, everything is you know i will get the emails for my schedules i um, so uh, we sent three type of schedule emails one is tomorrow schedule uh, we send it one day before one is uh, weekly schedule we send weekly schedule once in a week and uh, there is a monthly schedule so monthly schedule we we send every week uh, it will send you next 30 days schedule of your uh, court cases so it will update you as well as your clients whatever whoever clients are related to your cases we send emails to them also so i request you guys to enter the email address proper email address of yours and your uh, clients so that everybody who are related to this this case will be updated automatically through our uh, uh, system no need to do any manual thing automatically everything will be done so this is <coughs> this is how we can use you can see here my profile uh now uh, whatever you see i have used this i have entered this update from the mobile device and i can see here so uh, email address is this one contact number is this one and <coughs> subscription info my expiry date is 36 2013 means 2 two, th two months from today uh, like today is 3 april 2013 it will be valid up to 3rd of june 2013 so two months and then uh, <coughs> i can pay nominal uh, fees it's very less it's very you know very affordable to anybody anybody uh, it's we have not uh, you know decided to get many uh, lot of money from one advocate it's very simple um, uh, less amount for the yearly subscription and you will get so many different things you can take the printouts also uh, you can anytime change the password you can uh, also uh, see we have different apps like uh, supreme court judgments uh, high court judgments many apps we have we will be updating the website version of that app so that you can use uh, right now we are getting very good response for advocates diary and uh, case management so we are looking forward for the uh, same response in future also uh, we have different social links here you can see on the top facebook twitter youtube and google plus you can uh, subscribe and you can get the updates by this thank you thanks a lot for using our application happy browsing